Hey Goshen County 4-H, it's Megan. I wanted to take a quick moment to talk you through some record book things because um, as soon as we get through the Goshen County Fair, that's where we're going to be headed. Shout out to the Case family for letting me borrow your family profile. And big shout out to my friend Gracie who's going to let me pick on her. So you'll notice that we're starting with 4-H.zsuite.org. Org. This is how you enrolled in your 4-H projects. Next, we're going to pick uh, the profile we're working in. For me, I'm going to pick on Gracie Case. And here's Gracie's stuff. Next up, I'm going to come over here to Record Books. And you'll see here, Miss Gracie has all of her projects from last year so 2019 to 2020 is what all of these record books are and i am going to archive them right here because these are last year's projects so see how i can put those away and they're still available to me let me do one more and then if i come back up here i can show archived so all it means is that it's hiding from us so it doesn't get us confused in our record book stuff. Now there is one that we don't want to archive and that is my 4-H year or my 4-H involvement. This is the one that we add on to each year, remember? So let's take a look at that one. So I've selected it. I'm going to come over here, my involvement report, 4-H awards and recognition, this is last year, remember, you may have gotten some achievement points or some honors club points. If your name was Gracie, you got three points, which was um, as many as you can get in one year. Down here, we talk about a Cloverbud member award or this would be, oh, Gracie has livestock judging. Those are important things. You could also talk about if you got record book awards in this section. That's a good place for those if you got a record book during our um, virtual Achievement Day last year. Of course, here's our other sections, leadership, community service, participation. What do you put here? Well, one time Gracie attended a poultry clinic that we hosted in June, the 4-H story, the pictures and clippings, and other participation. This is a great place to talk about what you do at church, or maybe you do um, soccer or gymnastics or some other things. So I clicked over here back to home and I started this one, Gracie. So Gracie will have to continue here, but here's Megan's poultry. We'll have to do one of these kinds of record books, a project report for each project you're enrolled in, in 4-H. So I've already started it, but here's Megan's poultry. And you can see now the screen has changed and we're doing project information. So here's that tab. Um, here's where I goofed up because I didn't read closely. So two learning goals. So maybe this year to do, to learn the classes of poultry because there's a lot of them. And Gracie and I have been studying those a little bit. I'm going to say one for our purposes, but two is recommended. The next question is, what are you planning to do? Attend clinics and talk to Megan, because Megan knows what's up. We're going to save that, but look, here's more tabs. So here's supplies. Gracie knows what kind of supplies that she's invested in her poultry project. Expenses and income, a summary. And then if she wanted to add some photos of her and I playing with her chickens. So that is a very, very quick, quick, quick down and dirty ex explanation about record books and uh, how to at least get started. You can also, if you're more comfortable doing this in a print fashion, here's the view blank record books here. These are available at the extension office and also available for you to print them yourself as well. So if you prefer to print them by yourself, that's a-okay. 
Record books in Goshen County are due September 21st by 4 o'clock. They do need to come in hard copy fashion. So please take a moment and uh, start thinking about that. And we will see you at the Goshen County Fair. Thanks.